Welcome to the Craftsman Interview. I'm here with Mike Brunette, who is the lead organizer, the big chief of Libertyville Running <laughs> Club. And um, Mike, tell us a little bit about the Libertyville Running Club. You, you and your wife just moved here about a year and a half ago. So tell me a little bit about the journey. Sure, we did. Uh, we moved here ultimately because we started having children. Uh, and so after our first child, uh, we realized my wife's commute was a bit too much. Okay. Uh, she was, we were living in Flossmoor and she was working at Hollister in Libertyville. Okay. And so it got to be a bit too much. Uh, right around that time, I left work. I uh, used to be a CPA uh, and I left work to stay home with my kids, which was a blast. Yeah, uh, so that's cool, that's cool. The best job ever. You do not strike me as a CPA with I know. all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I swear, like, did you, you work never, for a firm or? I, I worked for a firm uh, called Ernst and Young. Oh yeah. And then when I left Ernst and Young, I worked uh, privately for uh, the McCormick family. Oh, uh, I so see. managing like trusts and estates, stuff like that. Okay. That's but it was all yeah. suit and tie, so nobody ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about how you what. What prompted you to start the Libertyville Running Club? Because it's a thriving club now. I sure. Mean, you guys are a bunch of characters, and <laughs> there's a lot of you. That is what we strive so, to be. So tell us a little bit about how did that happen? Um, what was the genesis of that? Uh, so back to when, right before we uh, left to move here, I had started a running club uh, in my old town. Okay. Uh, and I had called it the Homewood Flossmore Community Running Club. Uh, I had this idea that uh, I saw all these runners running around separately, and I thought I need to pull them together uh, and at the same time introduce them to the community, help build a better community. Uh, and so from that, I kind of got my feet wet, uh, learned what I wanted to do, uh, and then when we started looking for homes, uh, we were looking at different areas. I looked at Libertyville and I said, you know, there's a running store, but there's not a running club. Like, let's, maybe we should move to Libertyville. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, honestly, like, yeah. that was basically what wow. happened. And, and then right we, down the road from Hollister, obviously. Yes, yeah, so close to Hollister, uh, it, the, the market was right to like continue what I was doing with the running club and do it up here. Okay. Uh, and then, so I kind of hit the ground running, uh, used the, you know, the patch online newspaper. Sure, sure. Uh, just contacted them and asked them to do a little article about me uh, and the running club. Okay. Uh, and just had like an open invite. So they did it. This was like the winter of uh, 2013. Okay. It was really cold and they're, like brutal winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for months, like one person showed up. And mm -hmm. I would just every Saturday, I'd be out there waiting. Two people would show up. So uh, what, what, what was the straw that? <laughs> I, you know, I just, I don't know. Like I, I, I liked, I knew that you could build a community of runners here. Clearly, like the running paths are endless. Yeah, There's yeah. a running store right in town. Uh, there are running clubs in every neighboring town. So I knew that we should have one. We had the perfect downtown for it and the perfect community of people. They're all supportive of local businesses. They want to be involved. And so I thought this was a platform for runners uh, to channel them to get involved yeah. or to, to shop locally or whatever it is. Right. Well, it seems like, you know, I've read a lot of your, your blog, your your website, you guys have a fantastic Facebook page, you guys are very engaged, yeah. um, you have a colorful group. It, it seems like community building is a bigger, if not a bigger <laughs> piece than actual running. Yeah, some, uh, I think other clubs and people don't realize we run. Yeah. <laughs> we, we actually dressed do, up. Yes, we do have some serious <laughs> runners. We also have some couch to 5K runners. Like, we've okay. got everything. And that was, the, my whole idea was this should appeal to everyone. None of us are Olympians. None of us are probably <laughs> going to be Olympians. That's not the goal. Like our goal was just to get people active and involved. Uh, and from it, it, I think it's we're bringing away the intimidation factor for run clubs, and that's kind of the the goal. It, the hardest okay. part is getting people to show up to one of these. Yeah. And then you meet us, and you spend more time out to eat or at the bar after the run than you do run. Yeah. Yeah. And so you just make quick friends, and you realize. And I think. When that happened, it just blossomed a lot quicker than I think a normal run club would. Okay. How many members do you have? You know, if you believe Facebook, uh, about 740. But of, wow. And that's, you know, within a, a little over a year. So uh, dial that back. But dial it back. Honestly, like, at this point, I've seen probably 250 unique people. 
Wow. Uh, and probably, you know, on a given week. 40 or something. Yeah, it's, uh, and even at that, like, I know my goal last year was I wanted to just get 30 people to come out. Yeah. And now it's like consistently 30 plus at a run. Okay. And you know, our Wednesday run won't be the same group of people as our Saturday morning run. Right, right. Uh, and then Schedules. in the summers, we got access to the Libertyville High School track, which oh, on the north nice. side, that's, it's gold. Like, if you can get onto a high school track, people come out of the woodwork. Uh, the athletic director and one of the coaches were kind of following uh, my beginnings all along. Uh, oh, and so they kind of knew, like, this, was, this is purely community focused. And they liked that aspect of it. Uh, and so when I did ask them, they were able to rent me the track. Uh, nice. Yeah. So we have an arrangement so we can use it over the summer. And when I got that last year, it just blew up. So, yeah. you know, consistently like 40 plus people at the track. And that track at most holds about 50. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. It yeah. got pretty tight. And now, so I started up again this year, next week, and I've got 150 people signed up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Well, you're, you're, you're all over social media, your website, your blog. I love the title of your blog. <laughs> no, hang on a second. got to think about this. Mike's blog that's... Mike's running blog that's mostly about food. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mike's, I cracked up when I saw it's that. It's basically so, uh, the story and, of my and, life. And you go, just to touch on real quick, um, you have a goal. Is, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. 50 marathons in all 50 states by the time you're 50. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, so I had always, I never liked marathon. I didn't know what marathon running was uh, until I, I was in college. I was trying to impress this girl, and she had said, <laughs> it's always a, yeah, it's always, it's always the beginning of a great story. <laughs> this is always it. So she, I'm trying to impress this girl. She wants to run a marathon. Uh, I didn't even know what it was, and I signed up for it. And then I found out it's like 26.2 miles. <laughs> and I thought, man, I gotta start training. Like I'd never in my life run more than eight miles at a time. Okay. So I did some training and at most did 13 miles during the training. And I was like, this is gonna be an epic failure. But I finished the race in about four hours. Wow. Uh, and I said, I'd never do this again. Yeah. And like- Everybody third, says that, oh. it seems to me. And then like, you know, the pain wears off. The, like the endorphins kick in and you say, oh, I, well, I won't do that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 38 marathons later and here I am. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How long did it take you to get good? I, I think, mean, what is good to you? I guess, I mean, that's so subjective. To me, like, to be able to finish a marathon and feel awesome and go out and like put down a half slab of ribs like it's nothing, like that's good to me. Okay. Like, I want to finish a race smiling, like run that whole race smiling great. and be happy, have some beers and just carry on with the day. Uh, and, and for the most part, I've done every race that way. So what's the best anybody has ever run a marathon? What, what is it? Uh, the record now is like a, a two hours, three minutes and change. Gosh. So it's pretty, I'm, I'm, see, I'm not, I'm not an Olympian. I never will be. <laughs> I'm not shooting for that. But you're smiling at the end. <laughs> I, is, but I'm smiling. And great. those guys look like they're hurting when they're running that whole race. <laughs> uh, every one of my race photos, I'm the happiest clan. So. So you guys did a great thing, I, I thought. Um, you have a member who was moving to Texas, <laughs> yeah. and you did this scavenger hunt in downtown Libertyville? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I like to do like quirky, fun events, uh, be it like a, a costume, Hall or like a Halloween costume run we've done in the past. <laughs> we did like a, a, a literal like a toy run, like a toy drive for Toys for Tots. Oh, wow. Where we kind of dressed up like Santa Claus and ran with our toys down the street uh, to deliver them to the Lake County Sheriff who was collecting the toys. So we've always done like goofy like <laughs> runs, stuff like that. And so uh, we have a runner and a friend of ours that uh, was going to grad school here uh, at Rosalind Franklin. Okay. And you know she found the club pretty quickly and was pretty involved and everyone really liked her. Uh, and then of course after a year she had to move, she's moving to Texas for okay. part of her program. Uh, and she was from Portland, so she's not going to come back to Illinois. Uh, but one, Texas is a state that everybody knows it, you can make an event out of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a unique place. The Texans, Definitely. there's a lot of stuff that you can, you can uh, make light of. Yeah. <laughs> and so part of it was, you know, let's send her off, uh, but let's do it, let's do something fun. Uh, and so I've never, everyone loves a scavenger hunt, but I don't know that anyone's done a scavenger run. So I was like, let's, let's do a scavenger run. 
And for about a month, I plotted like 30 different things around Libertyville that you had to find or go to that would incorporate some kind of a Texas theme. Yeah. <laughs> it was, for example, I ordered a bunch of like little lawn flags, of te like Texas flags, mm -hmm. like 24 of them, and would place them in lawns all over town. So you know, <laughs> some would be along this trail, some would be along that trail. Your team has to run and collect them. You get a point for each flag. Okay. Uh, These uh, random houses? Just or? well, it would be. Did I you know do back a collection. At the store no, mostly it was on the trails. <laughs> oh, I so, see. So like throughout the okay. year, I design routes for these runners, and I try to do unique routes all the time to get them to run, and streets or trails that they've never run on before. Okay. Runners are so regimented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I try to force them out of that and you know explore this trail you've never checked out in 20 years yeah and so it's a great idea and now i took these flags and put them along that trail and so they were forced to run on this trail to find these flags and then that trail would lead you it would be it turns out that's a shortcut to austin's eatery uh and one of the clues was also you have to go to austin's well austin texas take a photo in front of the sign while you're there order the texas club sandwich <laughs> If you eat it while running, you get an extra point. Oh, that's uh, awesome. And so just little so things. So how many like people were actually running on the trail? With there were uh, close to 30 of us that participated. God, that's uh, great. And it's, you know, five or six, yeah, five teams all go their separate way. And it's downtown Libertyville on a Saturday. But so it's packed with people. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And we're all dressed like cowboys. Like you got an extra point if you showed up dressing like Texas. <laughs> it's some, so everybody's wearing cowboy hats, cowboy boots. How much time do you spend on all this oh, stuff? This is like a full-time job. I'm not even kidding. Like a full-time <laughs> unpaid job. Yeah. There's no way I can do this if I were still working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think that's what keeps it active. And, you know, I actively manage that Facebook page to make sure it's, like, vital for the runners in the community. And it should be. It is theirs. So. Yeah. And so the people that run with us feel comfortable posting on it. It's not just like my thing, and I'm the one that only says stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, you bring up a great point. You got to be really intentional about. You do. You got to nip it in the bud to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a brand and a it purpose, is. and yeah. like you said, keeping it relevant. It could get messy with that many people, and people yep. and tend then, to look at these as, oh, there's an opportunity, I've got an audience. It's sort of like, well. And yeah, they've really come out of the woodwork this year, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, have they really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, they see it right away. They say, oh, a Facebook page that has 700 people. Some people get that and think it's, we should market to it. Yeah, yeah. And then on the flip side, I can tell another business, you really, you should use this. And they, they don't. But it's all, you know, some people get social media and it's power, and some don't use it. Well, how did you, when did you really start to fall in love with running? Because obviously, you're, you're in great shape. Um, you got such a great spirit and a great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. But I, correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, there's a real health reason and there, there's a reason that you like to run. What, what tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I, everybody's got a different story, but ultimately a lot of us are in it because of the, the health uh, issue. Yeah. I mean, you feel great after you've done some runs. Uh, for me, it was always, I just had too much energy. Like, all throughout grade school, high school, like, I didn't know what to do with myself. Really? Like, I was that kid, like, just bouncing off the walls nonstop. Uh, and so this, to me, was a way to kind of, you know, take some of that down, <laughs> burn and, it off. And it works? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, my, <laughs> kind of. Because I mean, it would be a lot worse if I didn't. <laughs> I, know, I should ask your wife, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ask her. She's thrilled that I do. It's also the cheapest therapy around, so, you know, it's two-sided. Uh, so, yeah, I think throughout grade school, high school, college, I never ran on any of the, the teams or, you know, joined cross-country. Uh, I just ran when I felt like it. Okay. So, if I didn't feel like running this week, eh, I'm not going to run. Well, I have a friend who, who's been started running a few years ago, and he ran, it's a similar story that I seem to hear from a lot of runners. Um, Ran a half marathon, ran another half marathon, said I'm never going to do a full marathon, did a full marathon. <laughs> yep. Um, and now I think he's working on a second one, and he looks great. And I said, hey, Matt, what? you must really like this running now. And he goes, no, I, I, I hate it. It's a, you know, <laughs> it's said, a love well, hate. <laughs> well, how do you, why do you do it if you hate it? And he goes, I like the way I feel. Yeah. I like the way my clothes fit. Yep. I... 
it gives me energy, it's therapy, all of that kind of stuff. It is. So I'm kind of like, well, in, in other words, you do like it. There are aspects that you do like. Yeah, it's just during it, nobody likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's pretty miserable times when okay. you're out there. I mean, the weather can be a condition. Or yeah. Uh, maybe you've run too fast, too far. I mean, I still have those days. And it's just, it ultimately, though, you feel great when you're done. Like, you can eat anything. That's basically the number one reason I do this. Yeah. I joke with these people, don't ever ask me for nutritional advice. I'm the worst. I built a club on donuts and beer. <laughs> like, yeah, how'd that all start? The donut thing. I love donuts. I love your logo. So the, the, the club's an extension of me. Like, this is my personality. Okay. So, I, like, I'm not trying to build a club that I'm not. Like, I like to have a good time. I like to eat what I want. Uh, and I, I don't care to judge others for what they're doing. I, I'm not going to say, yeah, you should be a vegan, you'll be a better runner. Or you okay, should yeah. do this. And it, like, everyone's going to find a way to be a better runner personally, no matter what they're doing with their nutrition or their workouts. Right, and right. so this is just a way to bring all those different people together so that they could pick each other's brains. Uh, and that way, you know, they could say, well, Mike's in great shape, but he eats a lot of dumb. Like, maybe that works, right? <laughs> or maybe it doesn't. Well, when, I, when I saw you guys on a, uh, a Wednesday, yeah. there was a photo shoot. Yes. You guys all got dressed up, and it wasn't even Halloween. Yeah, this was like, what, a month ago? Yeah, yeah. And Jeff Matier is taking photographs of you guys. One woman just killed me. She's in a wedding dress. Yes. And did yeah. she run in that thing? She ran in the wedding dress. Unbelievable. For five miles. Um, and this is, of course, not on Halloween. At, like, traffic hour. And we're just running down uh, the <laughs> streets, and people are like, "Who is this woman in a wedding dress?" And the guy chasing her in like a powder blue tux. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And then I mean, there's a guy with like a, a skeleton a mask, or a, oh, the donut, a donut was there guy. too. Yeah. In fact, the donut is Aaliyah, the one that's moving to Texas. Oh, like one okay. of the first times she came to run with us was the Halloween dress-up party. Okay. And she shows up in this handmade paper mache donut because <laughs> she knew our shtick was donuts. And I was like, "All right, this." All right. So they love you <laughs> at Love and Oven. They, yeah, they, you would think they'd love us more. Uh, I think they just are happy that we show up and yeah. eat the donuts. Okay. Uh, Lee Donuts, however, loves us. Okay. Uh, and we don't get there as much as I'd love to. Uh, and he's just a great guy. Bill, Bill yeah, he's yeah. a great guy to work with. I know of him. Yeah. He appreciates like the community because he's a community builder himself. Yeah, he gets it community wise. Yeah, and that's what I. Yeah. He and I instantly connect, and so when I can bring my runners out there, I do. And that's now great. that they've finished all that construction on Milwaukee, it's so much easier for us to like make Lee Donuts a home base and just hop on the trails. Cool. And, but you know, I, I like to mix it up, so we see everything. Who are the other businesses that really kind of taking you under their wing? Uh, Chili U has been awesome. Good. That's one of the best like go tos that I know. If I walk in with twelve people, or if I walk in with fifty. Uh, they're gonna accommodate us nice. immediately. Like he has a private room. Uh, you've been in Chile. Sure. There's sure. that private room right there. Yeah. And if for some reason the restaurant's full, come on guys, I'll open this up for you. And it puts us in the private room. Nice. It's like every time they take care of us. And nice. so you know, if I can make that, I would make it our home base. If I was into just doing one place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. But uh, you know, uh, we well, talk always a little go back. bit about that. I mean, you kind of spread the love around. Yeah. And you have. What's the demographic? I mean, these aren't all Libertyville people. No, in fact, uh, I would say about a half of them are actually from Libertyville. Most of them are, or the other half, are about a 15 minute drive out of town. Okay. Be it from Gurney, uh, Buffalo Grove, uh, Wakanda, Lake Forest, Lake Bluff, uh, we even have Highland Park. Wow. Uh, I had, uh, someone's been coming now from Northbrook. <laughs> like, and oh, and uh, Spring Grove. It's like 45 minutes yeah. northwest of here. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple coming from Spring Grove now. Wow. So it's just, it's just spreading like wildfire. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's really cool because now it's, you know, the Libertyville people, for the most part, kind of know what's in the community. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but even that, I find there's n something new that I can turn them on to. But then these other people, like Libertyville is the hub. And like now we can make it that hard. Well, and you're Show exposing them. all these new people, you know, people from Spring Grove, Highland yes. Park, to downtown Libertyville businesses. Yeah, of course. It's a it's a win win. And that, it really is like, I don't I don't know, I don't get anything from this. I'm not getting kickbacks from Chile U for yeah, saying yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. I just enjoy a, a proprietor that gets it, that yeah. understands like, this is my business. Libertyville Running Club is good marketing, like. 
if we're good to them, they'll be good to us. Right. So I take these guys to a Chili U on a Wednesday night after a run, and next thing you know, one of them's going uh, date night on a Friday night there. Yeah, uh, right, right. And, and, you know, likewise with any other business on that strip. Right. It uh, just works. It, it does. Works. It does. I mean, and so we have a good experience. Science, yes, it, it's so simple. It's, it's customer service. If we have a good experience, that is going to speak volumes. Yeah. And it does. That's great. Uh, Talk a little bit about, you are the co- race director for oh, yeah. Twilight Shuffle? So when I moved to Libertyville, I knew that uh, I wanted to be involved in the community. And I had heard that the Twilight Shuffle was looking for uh, just a list of volunteers. And I thought, well, I could do all of this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is right up my alley, you yeah, know? Yeah. And so uh, I contacted Beth Kraft, and, and Beth said, you know, you can take on as much as you want. And so I took on everything she could throw me and then some. So what are you doing? Uh, so I guess now Beth and I are co-race directors. So everything from, you know, we're in the planning stages. We just got done, uh, you know, kind of pooling uh, sponsors, okay. uh, soliciting newer sponsors. Uh, got it. Uh, then you get into, like, you know, working with different vendors or the, the graphic designer trying to put together the shirt or any okay. of the uh, uh, advertising. Uh, and then down to you know race week or two, there's a lot of volunteer work. So last year, my big involvement was I had this club that I made that ra that race our focus. Like we're gonna volunteer, and oh, wow. we had a lot of them volunteer in every aspect. So they didn't run; they volunteered. Well, we had a good number of them run and <clears throat> good number of them volunteer, uh, yeah. and so we were a huge presence. Uh, and so this year, I imagine even more so. I say that. We encourage everyone that from the run walker. We do have a walking group on Saturdays now. Oh, cool. So we get everyone just to get out and get moving. But then we also try to keep uh, some kind of a structure, like a half and a full marathon training plan. Okay. Uh, and so those that are doing it, because there are a lot that do like a fall marathon, or okay. if, for example. Yeah, Chicago uh, or And so, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll have an option. Like Saturday is always a long run. So Saturdays, you know, some people are training for a marathon. They might need a 20-mile run. Here's an option where we're going to do out and back on a trail. Uh, anyone that's not running a marathon, you can just do two miles out and back. You would, that way we all see each other. We can all use the same uh, route. We can encourage each other. Uh, we had a, uh, an out and back high five uh, run this last <laughs> fall where you had to high five everybody that came back and passed. And it, like everyone just had a field day with it. Like It's just awesome to like, be that's out there crazy. encouraging each other. Uh, and so that's the idea, like make sure everyone feels a part of it, but still give them the training tools they need. Yeah. Uh, and right. so everyone succeeds. And so it's a, it's a spectrum. I mean, it's you a the walking spectrum, group. What, yeah. what do you do for the walks? So the walks, uh, uh, Lee Dunbar is helping me uh, head that up. Okay. And he will meet on Saturdays uh, at Cook Park, like where we do all of our meets. Okay. Uh, and he'll walk, his goal was to do about a 45 minute walk. And so he's getting about a, a two-mile walk in, and I think now he kind of sees, uh, he asks the group what they're able to handle or what they want to do, and collectively they'll just go out and walk. They go out on another trail, okay. kind of like the whole intent, explore something new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Maybe, right. maybe these are walkers that always just walk around their block, but now they're going to try the Oak Spring Trail or something. Well, we're so, so blessed with... Independence Grove, oh, old yeah. school. I mean, have you ever seen anything like it in it the is, country? I honestly, mean, like that again. Why we're so surrounded? Is Libertyville. Like, yeah, there is trails everywhere. Yeah. Like Lake County is just the Forest Preserve is awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for of your course. time, yeah. Mike, and thanks for doing what it is you do because I'm, I'm not part of the running club. I might do the walk with my wife, sure. but um, it's people like you. Groups like yours, the spirit and the energy and the relationships that happen as a result of the work sure. you're doing is extremely meaningful, and it's what makes Libertyville, Libertyville. So yeah. as one resident to another, I really appreciate what you do, man. Well, thank you thank much. You. Appreciate Thanks. it. It's a wrap, George.